Oh yeah, get up DC. It is 614, 62 degrees on your temperature dial. It's time for the culture. This is the segment where we highlight DMV history, traditions, and break down cultural issues that matter. This week, WSA 9's Michael Quander introduces us to an artist that's challenging us to have a sometimes difficult conversation the next time we get a haircut. You know, when you think about barbershops, especially in the black community, it's a space where men can just go and, well, let their hair down. But one artist says it's not always welcome to everyone. And it's something that he wants to talk about in this big blue box right here. My name is Devin Shimoyama, and I am an artist and a professor at Carnegie Mellon University. I feel like I walk into a barbershop, but I have not been to a barbershop that looks quite like this. Yeah, there's a lot of rhinestones and silk flowers and fun things to look at and, um, and lots of things to think about and ponder. This is a custom upholstered barber chair. This project is entitled Mighty Mighty, uh, the barbershop project in collaboration with uh, Cultural DC. What is the significance of the barbershop, especially in the black community? I think barbershops historically have been places in which a lot of people would come together to start to rally and figure out, you know, how can we move forward? And so I wanted to sort of harken back to some of that, but in a revamped, new, exciting way. Thinking about the barbershop as this place in which a certain type of masculinity is often performed in those spaces, I really wanted to challenge those notions. Are barbershops, especially in the black community, are they not welcoming to everyone? I think they're not necessarily welcoming. I'm, you know, walking into some of those spaces, I've, um, I've seen some people who maybe immediately register to somebody as obviously queer in some capacity and maybe don't feel necessarily safe. There's something that's really important to me where I never have wanted this project to vilify or create a villain or a monster out of anybody who thinks differently, right? So I really wanted to just open up a dialogue. I just want to have a conversation. It's just the beginning. That's right, it is just the beginning. We have far to go. Barbers are offering free haircuts over the next three months inside this art exhibit. I'll be there. Michael posted what you need to get one of them at WSA9.com. Just click on his story. And if you know somebody or a topic we should feature in our further culture segment, hit Michael up on social media or shoot him an email. Also do that if you're feeling lonely.